millions of people around the world are affected by articular cartilage wear of the hip joint. This condition causes the articulating layer to wear away and bone-to-bone -bone contact to occur, causing pain and restricting mobility. Non-cemented hip atherplasty, when indicated, is a good therapeutic option for patients with chronic hip pain and functional limitations. An important prerequisite for successful and long-term implant restoration is stable implant anchorage in the bone. The implant must be osseointegrated. Therefore, direct functional and structural bone contact must be achieved. In addition to implant design, the prosthesis material and the texture of the implant surface are relevant parameters for successful cementless implantation. Additive manufactured implants can be coated with a highly porous surface. This highly porous structure can be adequately flooded by the body's self-forming fluids, promoting ingrowth of bone tissue, and thus long-term secondary anchorage. In order to improve osseointegration, a thin bioactive calcium phosphate layer can additionally be applied to the structured porous implant surface. Different methods are used to apply calcium phosphate to the implant. Calcium phosphate layers have been applied onto implant surfaces since the 1980s using the vacuum plasma spray process. These coatings are compact layers with a layer thickness of 50 micrometer. Thermal VPS processes are usually termed line-of-sight processes, meaning the implant is only coated where the thermal process jet is directly applied. Due to its compact structure and high crystallinity, the sprayed calcium phosphate layer seals the open pored surface, reducing capillary action to blood and all relevant growth factors or bone cells. These facts, as well as uneven solubility, indicate that the VPS process is less suitable for applying calcium phosphate layers on porous surfaces and complex implant shapes. It is generally understood that thin, fully degradable, and electrochemically deposited calcium phosphate coatings are a further development of plasma sprayed coatings. The Bonite coating is also very well suited to porous structures, which are produced by using additive technologies because of its non-line-of-sight process. The coating process in an electrolyte bath promotes the deposition of extremely thin layers, ensuring uniform and complete coverage of microstructured surfaces. The porosity specified by the substrate is hardly reduced. Coated structures develop a high degree of capillary action. The blood with the growth factors can therefore wet and penetrate the surface of the implant. On account of this capillary action, growth factors are transported from the blood into the layer and thus also directly to the metallic implant surface where they are immobilized. Due to the bone-like chemical environment, Stem cells are then stimulated to form osteoblasts and the formation of new bone tissue is initiated. Evidence of significantly increased bone growth through the bioactive bonite coating was evaluated at 12 weeks in an animal study. An accelerated gap bridging effect was observed in bonite coated implants after an implantation period of 4 and 8 weeks. Extremely high push-out values were exhibited by samples coated with bonite. This experiment demonstrates the high capillarity action of the acetubular cups coated with bonite for absorption of blood and growth factors. The combined impact of additively manufactured textured surfaces with the bonite coating leads to an intensive degree of implant contact with self-forming body fluids enhancing bone growth and speeding up patient recovery as a consequence.
DOT offers you innovative services for medical implants to improve the quality of life of your patients. Speak with us 